Please welcome, from Richmond, Virginia, Andrew Ali. Hello, hello. How y'all doing? The say I'm too young for the blues. They say I pay my dues. Well, say what you want, cause this is my stomp to show you how I grew. Cause I know how it feels to be alone. It hurts to break a bone I know What it means to be grown I say I'm too young for the blues I say I pay my dues Well say what you want This is my stomp I'll show you how I grew I know How it feels to lose a friend I know How much time That you have only been playing for about eight, ten years. About the ten years now, yeah. So tell us about that because I heard you saw a busker on the street playing the harmonica. Yeah, that's exactly. I was at a farmer's market and uh, I just saw a dude playing harmonica one day. I was like, man, that, that looks cool. So, I, <laughs> so, uh, and I went up to him and started asking some questions. And that day, I went to the store and bought a little cheap five-dollar harmonica and just, just fell in love with it. But why harmonica? Like, what is it about that instrument that you think grabbed you? Well, I think it's just a, it's an instrument that you can you can play anything on. I, I think people forget that you can you can play almost any type of music, any style, and uh, they they call it uh, the mouth organ. So I think of it as like an extension of your voice. So when you're when you're playing through, it's just like part of you, and uh, it's also really portable. Like load ins are really easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but I just love the sound of it, and I love the history. Uh, that it has in this country. I'd say the harmonica really, I mean, we, you know, in this country really made it what it is. And it's kind of rare to say that for any instrument, but we really, you know, when you think of the harmonica, you think of American history. So I think it's just a really important thing to keep going. How is the blues not inherently retro? How do you make it your own now? Well, you got to go back before you go forward. So, uh, you know, I'm constantly 
going farther and farther back because to, to, to go forward with really any music, you got to, you know, see what the people were doing before you. So, um, you know, you get that groundwork and you, you get that, that, that base and then, you know, you start to f feel what they were trying to do and then you, you find your own way, you know. But it's, it's very important to, to know the context behind the music or else the music doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, you, you know, you have to know what the story is behind, you know, the blues or, or anything. And, um, you know, it's one thing to play. It's one thing to know why you're playing it. So, yeah. So what is the story that you're, you know, if, the, if you want to give context, if you're educators on some level, what's, what's that history that you're passing on? What do you tell people about the blues? Uh, that's a big question. I mean, I think, yeah, it's just, um, just knowing that, you know, the, the blues came from struggle, you know, and, and everyone goes through a struggle. You know, and if you can tap into your own struggle, whatever that is, and then you can understand what the blues was about. It's about the struggle. It's, but it's not always about the sad stuff, too. Really, it's just talking about life. You know, blues is more than just the na 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 lost my baby. You know, it's, it's happy, it's sad. It's just talking about how you get through life. And uh, that's why I, I like the blues, because you, you can't fake it. You just, if you just tell your story, then you're playing the blues. That's, that's the way I look at it. Andrew Ali and Josh Smoke, thank you so much. <laughs>